Oh, we got a flash going. That's kind of weird. I guess we'll run with it. All right, ready? How'd I do? New? Old. New? Old. I'm not sure what I think. I mean, that's a pretty fresh look. I think that's a little fresher. Back this up. I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure why the flash is running on the camera. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There may be a little rub, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. I don't think there's anything I'm going to do about it. I think that's how life's going to be. But when I did the unboxing, I thought about going to get a scale. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the flash is just going to run. I've never really... I don't know if I can... It's kind of a weird scale. Fluid ounces, no. Kilograms, no. Milliliters, no. Grams. 215 grams. This uh, this wheel has got all the hardware in it. It's not tightened down, though. I was building it. I thought, well, I'll just do this video. The aid is Celsius degrees. It was in my... It was out in the other room. It was a little cold, colder. So let's check out one of these tires. So that's a factory tire with... Oops. With weights. And those are all... Seven gram weights. That's 171. And that's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 35 grams of weight added to it. 169. Well, that's a pretty accurate scale I got here. Jeez. <laughs> well, uh, give, or, give or take. Yeah, those are heavy. Heavy. I like it. Um, something I forgot to uh, show in the unboxing is I got this little bad boy too. Servo saver. Because I was reading, someone said one of the Achilles heels on these four tracks, or sorry, four tracks, TRX fours is, uh, the servo brakes on you. And then if you've drove to go play and it breaks, you cry. So I grabbed one of those too for super discounty cheap. Um... I don't know if I ever told the whole story. This was like a Cyber Monday kind of discounty. It wasn't really Cyber Monday, but like it was leading up to the holiday season kind of deal where they had, it's on sale for so many days, buy now. And I don't know what exactly went down, but like, because I kept putting it in and out of my, uh, my uh, cart, right? And I feel like I put it in and out of my cart so many times, they started giving me a discount. <laughs> so, like, the shipping all got combined and everything, so it was, like, three bucks to ship. Like, it's oh, whatever. Pretty cheap. I'm sure it's cheap and inexpensive. But, like, I think these little hubs kind of turned out looking nice. The only thing that's weird is, like, and I'm not even sure if I can actually film it. I don't feel like, like, if you look inside this hex hair in there get that why is there hair if you look inside that hex and my dog is just giving me the look and you look inside this hex they're about the same depth but the hole for the axle on that is bigger than the hole on this so like the axle doesn't go all the way in so i don't know if i have to drill these i mean it's just kind of weird like it's engaged let's see if i can get this camera in there can get a zoom like you could see maybe I don't know if you can see it so it's like half engaged on the hex the hex is half in see that you can see the set screw right there and it's like I don't know if that's enough that doesn't seem like it's in enough Because when you look at the axle, there's like a, it flares after the threads. And I don't know if I can get these things like, 
Let's see if I can get this all re. So these are like little caps that come off. Eventually. And then from there, an Allen head goes in. But like, I put some washers behind it to like, uh, take up the space, I guess. And these are made of aluminum. So I don't really know how that's gonna work. And this one like wobbles. It's not the most impressive system I've ever seen in my entire life, to be honest with you, but see how that wobbles. Cause like they just took a, they took a nut and pressed it in here. And it's obviously crooked. We'll take this thing off. So like my two washer spacers came off. But see how, oop, a little vibration there. See how it like is a little bigger right there? That hits the hole. And I don't think that's good. I think I want that thing planted. I think, I mean, things only going in like, I mean, if that's the set screw, oops. You can see the set screw right there, obviously out of focus, but. And I'm just getting barely on there. So I think I'm gonna have to drill these things. It's kind of bumming me out. Cause the, ne the next problem I got is, uh, there, was a, there, there was quite a bit of thread coming through which makes these things bottom out totally. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure what to think here. Cause it's got a really nice uh, offset. You kind of see how the tire's hanging out there, real wide, real wide stance. Compared to, you know, that's not hanging out much at all. But if I drill them and recess that back in, which I probably need to do, uh, I'm going to lose some of that width. It'll go back to standard, but uh, I mean, whatever. I mean, this is not, it's no more wobbly than the other side. They look good though. So yeah, that's where I'm at. The only other thing I saw was, and I'm going to open this one up on camera and see if, if it shows. Because someone was talking about how the holes are filled with paint sometimes. And that's on this back piece. We'll look at this one. And I'm hold up to the light. Yeah, this one right here is clogged. Uh, let's see if I can get something like light behind it. Can you see there's a chunk in there? On this one. It's not really focusing very well. Let me try. Come on, super camera phone. Well, believe me, what I found is this little, the Allen wrench that does a thing, if you very carefully, oh, that's not the right one. No, maybe it is. I'm hitting it. That guy's a big one, he doesn't wanna come out. Cause it will, see how it, sli it does slip through. So I've, I cleaned some out that way, but this one's got a huge chunk, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to come out. Let's see if I can. Got him. Now you can see it bent it out. See that little sliver? Right there. That's just from the, the tap and die. But, uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, if I got to drill that out a little bit, that ain't going to be the end of the world. I can do that. That's not a problem. And I probably will because I want it to. Oh, 
Well, that's weird. That slips over. Oh, wait. See, no, it doesn't. I mean, I might have to get some calipers out and see if that's... I feel like it's not going as far in as it should. I mean, I, I don't really know for sure. I mean, it just doesn't feel right. Like, when I look over here on the factories... Oops. They're all the way in. I mean, there's no... They're in. So, I just feel like that... It's just that little tiny bit there. Just that little extra. Like, I'm not saying drill these... I'm going to have to drill these out like a, a country mile. But I just don't know if that's... It just seems suspect. So, yeah, that's on the list of things to do. But I realized after, I, like, right when I shut the camera off, I was like, oh, I forgot to. And then, if no one's ever seen the other video, I got the, uh, the off on button thing that you, when you set it up, you reach underneath and it's supposed to power your thing. I've heard this thing is just garbage, plastic, cheap snaps off weak sauce whatever but i think it was like two bucks or something way cheaper than when you buy it here in the states plus everything was on sale and everything was like discounted so i felt like i was getting more stuff but that was it i guess these caps were extra so i went big on caps a couple bucks on caps which i think look good i mean that's the look so and if, it, if i didn't have the cap it would just be Basically, I mean, it would be that. Just a nut. And that cap sticks out all like locking hub looking. You can see that. So, I mean, whatever. This video is way too long. That's where I'm at. I'm pretty excited. I have to do a little little modification, but no big deal. So, yeah. I think I, I, think I picked right. I think that's a good look for them. Looks a little more crawlery now. So, all right. If you watched this far, you should subscribe, and that would be rad. Thanks. Peace. Stay safe.